What up YouTube fam? Thank you guys so much for coming back to another video. It is always good to see you guys. I thought today I'd put on some LA gear because we got Max Scherzer, Russell Westbrook, Treya Turner, the boys in blue, City of Angels. We are out here chasing chips and I am absolutely here for it. But I'm not about to go Stephen A. Smith on you guys. The City of Angels, Hollywood just should be celebrated. Throw a parade already, whether you win a championship or not. This man was a bona fide scrub. He can't play. Um, that's not what today's video is about. How I do want to start today's video, though, is with a small fact. So, on average, did you guys know that every American sits for about six and a half hours to 10 hours a day? Now, that is absolutely gross. We should stop doing that as a collective unit because that is terrible. But I'm going to be going over something that you may not think about when sitting down that long, and that's going to be a desk chair. If you guys haven't noticed since my first video, if you haven't checked that out, obviously go check that out. I have updated and gotten a new desk chair. That chair is called the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro, previously known as the Autonomous Ergo Chair Two. I've had this chair for about six months now. It's allowed me to really deep dive into what I like and dislike about the chair. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my honest review on the chair. By no means am I sponsored by Autonomous in any way. I bought this money with my own chair. So that's, I just wanna make sure that that's clear so that you guys know I'm giving you guys an honest review. Now, with that being said, like we talked about that small fact earlier, sitting, doing anything for six and a half hours, sitting for six and a half hours or longer, that is a major part of your daily life or your life altogether. So you want to make sure that you're putting the products around you that are going to provide you the most value. If you are a photographer and you get better lenses, you're going to get better shots for your job that you get paid for. If you're a runner and you buy those more expensive running shoes, those $300 shoes, your recovery is going to be better. The running experience is going to be better. And that is no different with an ergonomic desk chair. If you're a content creator, a programmer, a coder, a work from home, anything like that where you're on the computer or sitting down for a long period of time, this video is for you to help you decide if this ergonomic chair is best for your needs. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. Let's do it. Okay, so to start off the video, as always, people are always wanting to know about the price of the chair. So Suits my clothes. Very nice, how much? We're gonna go over that first. So basically the chair retails on the Autonomous website for $499. When I got my chair, I got it for around $400. I'll post the receipt here so you guys can look at the math breakdown. Now I'm not sure if there was a price increase or I took I got a massive discount on a sale or something. I don't really know how that shook out, but it's $499 right now for retail value. With some savvy shopping, I think you guys can get it for less than that. Um, so just be aware of that. Now, with that price tag, it makes the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro a mid-market chair. It's definitely not the most expensive chair out there on the market compared to the Herman Miller Aeron, the Steelcase Amira series, or the Mavix M9, which is all over TikTok. Those are what I would call high-end ergonomic office chairs. So with this price tag, it's definitely mid-market. Not saying it's not a good chair, but just that's where it sits in the pack of office chairs. So with that being said, how I wanna frame this is that I wanna give you guys a little background on what makes an office chair better than the next one. Some things to consider when looking at this office chair, as well as all ergonomic chairs in general, is gonna be your warranty and return policy, the customization slash adjustability of each individual chair, how the armrest operates, the quality of the whole chair, if it's got a headrest, the type of backrest it uses, the type of seat pad, the list goes on and on. But those are just some things to keep in mind when looking at this chair. Not gonna go into the price too much more than that because I will explain that later in the video in my final review. But moving forward to the uh, Ergo Chair Pro arriving at my house, came in a big, big box, uh, super easy to assemble. It was unassembled. Some chairs come assembled, this one was not. It gives you all the tools you need, basically just an Allen wrench to set up the chair. Anybody can set up the chair. The only thing I'll say is, is if you know, you're know you not as strong or you live up some stairs, you may need a second person to help you lift the box up the, uh, up the stairs. 
Um, but the assembly was super easy. Anybody can do it. Two quick things to mention about assembly though. One, make sure you go super slow. You are putting the chair together yourself. So you are screwing in a lot of the points together. So you wanna make sure those are tight and in the right position. Which leads me to my second point is, is that when I was setting up the chair, there are three screws that go underneath the base plate of the chair that set up the back. Now, when I set it up, I misaligned the back and I had to go on YouTube. They have a super helpful video on the Autonomous website or their YouTube channel that shows you how to properly align the back. And that was one issue that I ran into that you guys can avoid. So like I said, all in all assembly, delivery, super easy, super simple. So that was a smooth experience for Autonomous. In the next part of the video, I'm gonna be going over the about eight to 10 functions of adjustability that the chair has. So for that, we're gonna start looking at the actual chair. So the Autonomous Ergo chair boasts a total of about nine to 10 adjustment functions, depending on how you group some of them together. But first we're gonna be starting off with where you're gonna be sitting the most, and that is with the actual seat. So the seat is going to hold three of the adjustment functions of the entire chair. But before we get into those functions, we're gonna talk a little bit about the design. Autonomous makes their seat with what they call a waterfall seat pan, which I learned the name of that for this video, a nice name, a waterfall seat pan. It is contoured with rounded edges for dynamic pressure distribution up to 300 pounds, essentially for freeing up any restricted blood vessels and reducing stress on the lumbar region with the breathable fabric. And that brings us to our first customization of the chair, which is the seat depth adjustment. All you do is lift this lever underneath the chair and you are able to push the chair forward and backwards. As you guys can see in the video, you see the chair as far as possible from the backrest. And then once you hit the lever, it releases back to a super close positioning. Now this is made for, peop for people's height because obviously somebody who is 6'2 and somebody who is 5'4, you're gonna need a different seating position for your back to align properly with the chair. And that brings us to another function, the second function of the chair, which I didn't know how to use for the longest time. And I figured it out just for the sake of this video so I could tell you guys about it. And I will say it's a complete game changer. What this function is, is an adjustable seat tilt. This chair allows for a 10 degree tilt, which may not look like much in the video once you guys see it here in a second, but it allows you to properly align your sacrum and it reportedly ensures muscle development in your back, side, and core, and keeps your pelvis in a neutral position to prevent future postural issues. When you wanna sit on the edge of your chair or just kinda of wanna lean forward, this is a really cool function and I like it a lot. Like I said, I haven't used it a ton before figuring out what it was for this video, but since I found out about it, I have been using it and I have been liking it. So that is really cool. And then lastly, obviously, you get your seat height adjustment as well for the chair. Um, something stand, pretty much standard on all office chairs. And now we're gonna be going into the backrest. So the next function of the chair we're gonna be going over is the backrest of the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro. The backrest holds about four of the customization functions of the entire chair. As you guys can see there, you can see a panning version of how the back of the chair looks as well as how the mesh looks on the chair. And the first function we're actually gonna be going over is the flexible lumbar support system, which is lockable across five key positions as you guys can kind of see here. Each is designed to keep your spine stable and support your lumbar area. It's wrapped in that ultra breathable woven mesh for gentle posture perfecting resistance. And this is all obviously from the Autonomous website. And you can see me here locking it into place in the furthest setting and then pushing it back into the uh, furthest setting in the opposite direction. And you can lock it in any of those directions. The next thing we're gonna be going over is the chair's synchro tilt ability or the tilting backrest. So um, I walk into the frame here and one of my favorite positions is putting my feet up on my desk. So the Ergo chair is gonna provide a 20 degree range of reclining. All you have to do is simply flip, flip up the left handle below your seat and then it unlocks the backrest and you can lock it at any position you would like. So um, 
This is a, a really good way to make sure you're either sitting up straight or you're getting a nice relaxing recline as you guys can see me there. Love to take work calls like that. Um, so not as it only good for your sitting seating posture, but it definitely provides some comfort whenever you wanna just kick back and throw your feet up. So one of my favorite functions of the chair personally. And there you can see what it looks like if you're just sitting down normally. Um, Moving into the next function of the chair, we are gonna be looking at the responsive adjustable lumbar support. So the flexible lumbar cushion protects the natural curvature of your spine and eases both pain and stiffness. Um, instead of dictating the inward curve, it responds to the unique shape of your body provided tailor providing tailored support. And as you can see, it's got a pretty wide range of um, adjustability from top to bottom. And um, yeah, one of the really good functions of the chair, and that's just a frontward angle of it. You can see how low and how high it actually gets looking through the woven mesh. And then I think I'm gonna push it down a little lower here. Um, one more time, just for, uh, for the example's sake, and then one more time up. And then lastly, we're gonna be moving into the adjustable headrest. So the adjustable headrest um, is uh, moves up and down with the chair. You can actually pull it all the way out. I've seen somebody on YouTube pull it all the way out before. It provides 45 degree flexibility as well as the height adjustment that you're seeing there. So there's the height adjustment and then there's the 45 degree flexibility. Um, so very customization, very cool, allowing you to kind of create whatever works best for you. And then lastly, we're gonna be going over the armrest. These are a three-way adjustable armrest. As you guys can see, I'm pushing them backwards and forwards, and then um, side to side as well. And they also lift up and lift down, which I should be showing you here shortly. Exactly, and then you guys can see the up and down function as well. Yep, there we go. And down, and up. Man, all those adjustments, crazy, super exhausting going over every one of those, but um, we'll, we'll move on into the positives and the negatives of the chair. And to start off, I think we just have to go back to the adjustments that you're able to make. There's so much customization you can make with this chair. Um, for, Something is there for everybody and anybody. So I really just wanna highlight that I think a really big positive of the chair is that you can adjust it so much. The second thing that I think is a really big positive of the chair for me personally, I just like the way the chair looks. Uh, I think it looks super cool. I think it really fits any office space really well to whatever aesthetic, obviously whatever color you pick is gonna dictate how it fits into your uh, setup. But I really do like the chair, uh, the look of the chair. So I think that's another positive. Moving forward, I do wanna move into my dislikes about the chair, and unfortunately, there are more dislikes than positives for the chair today. So to start that off, um, we'll start off small. One thing that really annoys me about this chair is the um, armrest. So, so the problem I have with these armrests, like I mentioned in my last video, uh, my last chair review, I like to lean on the armrest, but this is really easy to move around. It has a four-way adjustability, but there's no lock-in mechanism or the, the strength it takes to move the armrest around is really light. So I really wish there was some way to lock this in or um, it was a little harder to push it out because I find myself slipping and sliding around when I'm getting out of the chair and it's just a little frustrating, but that's just for me personally. The second thing I wanna go over and probably the thing that is most disappointing for me personally about the chair is the quality of the cushion on the seat. So I've had this chair for about six months and the, the cushion has bottomed out within those six months. Now what that means is, is that the cushion is just not that comfortable anymore. It really feels after about an hour or two, it gets kind of uncomfortable and it feels like I'm almost sitting on the base of the chair. One of the major reasons I wanted to upgrade to a new office chair was because the base or the seat of my old chair was getting really uncomfortable as well. That was a way cheaper chair, so I can kind of understand that. But for $500, and this is almost, I would say it's still way better than that, but I really was expecting a lot more quality-wise from the $500 price point and autonomous as a whole. That kind of brings us to our next point, which is the overall quality of this chair is actually really low in comparison to the price. So um, I'm really gonna lean on a video that I watched from BTOD, which is an office review company. They review ergonomic chairs and smart desk and all this type of office equipment. 
Obviously, I'll let you guys know when I'm an expert in something, but right now their opinion is gonna take precedent. And with 50 plus office chairs they tested in 2021 in their categories, the autonomous quality wise ranked the lowest or in the cup, the few of the lowest in the quality section in all areas. So that's really disappointing from autonomous just because like I said, you have such a high price point that you really don't want to experience a low quality product. And that's what you get with the Ergo Chair Pro, unfortunately. And then that kind of brings me into the last uh, the last dislike of the chair, which kind of enhances how the quality of this chair is pretty low. Autonomous offers a two year warranty on their Ergo Chair Pro, which is way below the industry standard. For most chairs, uh, the industry standard is about a five year warranty. Some of them even range up into 15 years and even lifetime, but Autonomous is at the lowest with that two year warranty. Now, take that how you will, but subliminally, I think that that kind of backs up the point that they know they're sending out a low quality product. The Autonomous Desk 2 comes with a five year warranty, which is totally different from something that you're sitting in on the day to day. This only has a two year warranty. And the guys at BTOD bring that up as well. And I feel that I align with that thought process that the two year warranty is something highly questionable about the chair. So with those things being said, like, like I said, I really am just disappointed in how Autonomous brought this product out and the things that make it bad, so. Okay guys, so we're gonna be getting into the final review of the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro. Like I said in my last video, I'm trying to make a system that I apply to every product that I rank. So to begin with the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro, the first section we're gonna be going over is directions and care. Super simple, five out of five in that category, not much to explain. Setup was easy, the box came delivered, you have to set it up yourself. And if you need some help lifting the box, just get somebody to help you move it around. But other than that, not much else to say. The second thing we're gonna be going into is quality and price. So the quality is not great for the chair um, and the price is super high. So for that, I give the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro a two and a half out of five. Where I think the best value for this chair's price point should have been is between the $250 and the $350 price point. Now you may likely not get it at that price point, but I will say at a $399 price point, which is a 20% discount, I think there could be room for argument depending on if you like the adjustment functions of this chair specifically. But after that 399, I think the value drops off drastically. So for this section, I give it a two and a half out of five. Moving into the last section, does it get its job done? Does the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro do what it set out to do? And for that, I'm gonna read something from Autonomous's website. It says, the Ergo Chair Pro was designed to increase mobility and eliminate pain. So I do think that the Ergo Chair Pro does a lot to uh, create adjustability and functionality for the user to kind of uh, help your health or help your pain points. But for me and the BTOD guys, I think there's two glaring downsides to the chair, one being comfortability and the other being quality of the materials used. For me, it's more of the quality. The seat pan really did upset me that it bottomed out within the first six months. So that was really a, a big upset, upsetting thing for myself. And then for the BTOD guys, they just mentioned that out of the 50 chairs that they've tested for 2021, this ranks pretty low in the comfortability section. So that's more their opinion than it is mine. I do feel Autonomous created or tried to create a chair that benefits your overall health but I feel like they did it with the mindset of a champagne taste on a beer budget. And I feel like their priorities were kind of not aligned when developing this product. So with that being said, I give it a three out of five for does it get its job done. Okay guys, to add up all the scores, you're gonna get a 10 and a half out of 15 ranking for the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro, which comes out to about a 70% grade, which is a C minus. D plus, which is a non-purchase item for me personally, you get a super high price tag with paired with a low quality chair, a subpar warranty with a little bit of adjustability flair mixed into the chair. So for me, it is a non-approved purchase. I do not recommend this chair to you guys. The only thing I will mention with that is if you get it at a 20% discount or more, which is around $400, 
I would consider it, but even then I still think it is slightly too high price at $400. Now, my alternative, what I would recommend to you guys if you're looking in that $400 to $500 price range, I would send you guys to BTOD's website. They offer refurbished chairs and sell refurbished chairs. They sell their highest ranking ergonomic chair, which is the Steelcase uh, Leap V2 chair refurbished with a 15 year warranty at about $540. So that would be my alternative selection for you guys if you're considering the Autonomous Ergo Chair Pro. Now for me, I would actually like to try a, a little bit higher end chair in the Mavix M9 or the Steelcase Amia series chair. Those are in the $1,000 price range and I'm just not ready to spend that money yet just because this chair is still fairly new. It's not even a year old. And I know that that $1,000 is a really high price point for a lot of people. So that's why I wanted to give you guys an alternative. And I'll be linking some other $500 ergonomic chair review videos in the comments below to kind of give you guys a better direction of where to go when you're looking for an office chair. Now, with that being said, that's the end of this video. If you guys found some value in this video, please consider subscribing, leave a comment, thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what chair you guys are rocking and if you guys have any opinions on any of the chairs that I mentioned in the video. I love talking to you guys and if you have any questions, let me know. So with that being said, it is still like, comment, subscribe, summer uh we're we reached our first milestone over 100 subscribers but we need to get to a thousand before the end of 2021 and i need you guys to help me get there so